Hey, this is Marcus, aka Cradle Cat. And last week we took a look at how to mix vocals with stock plugins in Logic, which I'll link right up here. And as part of that, I was trying to replicate the sound that I would get from a third party plugin called Decapitator, which is this cool analog saturation plugin. And it ended up taking me way longer than I expected to get a similar sound with a stock plugin in Logic. So I separated that out and put it in a video for us to look at this week. So that's what we'll walk through today is just how do we get that similar sound to Decapitator in a Logic Pro X stock plugin. If you like what you see or you just like my music or wanna see any live stream songwriting, any other content like that, go ahead and follow me on YouTube here and uh, follow me on any of the other socials where I post stuff. And uh, we'll dive right in now and show how we can get that decapitator effect using a plugin called Fat Effects in Logic Pro X. Let's go ahead to the next step, which is the decapitator. And this is one that I like to think can't be duplicated, but I had to do my research for this. And, you know, I think it's, uh, I think there's a pretty good alternative. So instead of the decapitator, so let's just hear that before and after on the third party. I can see you've got a certain swagger. I can see you've got a certain swagger. So it just adds a little bit of grit, a little bit of, you know, fuzz behind the vocal there. We're mixing it around 30% uh, in uh, for the dry wet knob. You can see we're cutting out some of the lows, really cutting out some of the highs. So it's so that part that is distorted the part that is wet has uh it, it's it's filtered down a little bit because that's the sound i'm going for in the mix so to do something similar instead of decapitator let's go to our stock track and choose our fat effects so this is in multi-fx fat effects and here we have a few different saturation settings and uh so Decapitator is an analog saturation emulator there or plugin. And we're going to try to do something similar. So, you know, we're driving this pretty hard. Just listening to it, you can see. I can see you've got a certain swagger. So let's hear it all the way up. I can see you've got a certain swagger. So that's what it's doing when we're, you know, really pushing it. And That'll be helpful as we're um, as we're trying to replicate it because it'll almost be easier to compare those and then dial it back to thirty percent. So on our new stock version of the track, let's go ahead and we've got that mix up to a hundred. I can see you've got a. So right now it's not doing anything um, because we don't we haven't really dialed anything in yet. I don't hear a ton of bit crusher in, in what I'm doing with, uh, we might, we might mix that in a little bit, but I want to push the soft saturation first I can see you've got a and then let's hear the variable drive. I can see you've got so that, that's more what I'm hearing in the, um, in the decapitator. I can see you've got a certain and again, let's, uh, push that all the way. I can see you've got a certain swagger. And then back to our stock ones. I can see you've got a... So obviously that's pushing it really hard. Um, but we're going to dial it back. Um, let's just try to isolate what the, each of these are doing. I can see you've got... Uh, and let's also turn off some of this stuff because we're not doing that in the decapitator. So uh, let's, let's turn those off so it doesn't distract us. I can see you've got a certain... So that's the very drive. I can see you've got a so that's just like some kind of light saturate. It's not really doing too much, so I'm just gonna leave that kind of all all the way up there. I can see you've got a certain swagger. I can see you've got and then a let's let's try to mix in just a little bit of that bit crusher. I can see you've got a certain swagger. See, so yeah, I can see I that can really doesn't work at the top end of it, but I can see you've got a certain swagger. Okay, okay, and then back. I can see you've got a certain swagger. And then we'll tone it back a little bit here because it's I can see you've got a certain I can see you've got a Let's take that bit crusher down a little bit 
And also let's uh, let's start to um, try to match the high and low cut since that might be affecting us as well. So instead of, what is that? That's probably around 250. And we're cutting it around, uh, let's see, around 10K. So now let's hear that. I can see you've got a certain swag. I can see you've got a certain swagger. I can see you've got a certain... I can see you've got a. I can see you've got a certain swagger. I can see you've got a certain swagger. I can see you've got a swagger. I can see you've got a certain swagger. And then let's uh, let's hear what these are doing as well. I'm I'm trying to get some of that just high end grit that we're uh, hearing in the. Uh, with the decapitator, so, uh, oops, let's hear that again with the decapitator. I can see you've got a certain swagger. And then back to our stock ones as we're trying to match that. I can see you've got a certain So it's got like a little bit of almost like phasiness going on there at the top end. So let's, let's see if we can, uh, get that more, more in tune with what that decapitator's doing. I can see you've got a certain swagger. I can see you've got a certain swagger. I can see you've got a certain swagger. I, I can see you've got a certain swagger. I can see you've got a certain swagger. I can see you've got a certain. I can see you've got a certain. Okay, now let's hear that decapitator again. I can see you've got a certain sweat. And then back to the third, or the uh, stock ones. I can see you've got a certain... It's maybe even less on that. I can see you've got a certain swagger. I can see you've got a certain swagger. Okay, and then let's compare those again. I can see you've got... I can see you've got... So maybe a little less bit crusher, a little bit less on the distortion here. I can see you've got a. I can see you've got a. I can see you've got a. So it's still now it's almost uh, <laughs> too much there. Um, maybe try and. I can see you've got a. Oops. Try to smooth that out. I can see you've got a. I can see you. Or maybe uh, even. Kind of give it like a. I can see you've got a. Just choose the right setting there to almost tame it back. I can see you've got. I can see you've got a. I can see you've got a. Now I think we're gonna want to go. We'll, we'll try that one more time on the sharp. I can see you've got a certain. I can see you. And. Let's try taming it just a little bit more on that top end. I can see you've got a certain swagger. Bring back a little bit of that. See, I can see you've got a certain I can see you've got a certain swagger. There we go. I can see you've got a certain so third party. I can see you've got a certain swagger. That's the decapitator. And then back to the fat effects. I can see you've got a certain swagger. I can see you've got a certain swagger. I can see you've I can see you've got a certain so That's pretty close. Um that's closer than I expected to get, honestly. Um so this is just how we can kind of by ear match what we're match what we're hearing there just by isolating what each of these are doing, trying to replicate what we're hearing in that decapitator as we were A-B testing. I know that took a, took a few minutes there to do it, but, um, you know, decapitator makes that really easy, and that's why you can pay for it and just get that same sound really quickly because it has way fewer knobs. Um, <laughs> but we got there, and uh, 
I don't know if you want a preset for it or something, I'll figure out how to save it and just let me know in the comments if I should do something like that. Um, but on to the next one. So, uh, oh, whoops, almost forgot. So we had this at 30% or somewhere around there. Yeah, right around, right around 30%. So let's go ahead and uh, dial that effects back to 30% uh, on the fat effects, our makeshift decapitator copycat. So here we've got... I can see you've got a certain swagger. I can see you've got a certain swagger. And almost too much of it's, I mean, yeah, too much of it's kind of coming through there. Um, oh, I also don't want any limiting. I can see you've got a certain swagger. I can see you've got a certain swagger. I can see you've got a certain swagger. I can see you've got... Yeah, so it's uh, it's almost more. There's that's interesting. There's way more coming through there, on. Uh, I can see you've got a from what I'm expecting. So again, here's the decapitator. I can see you've got a sir. And then the when we had this at thirty percent. I can see you've got. It's way a more. So let's see if we can. Uh, I can see you've got a certain swagger. I can see you've got a certain swagger. Now let's just turn that output up. I can see you've got a certain... Actually, let's check that auto... Uh, that auto setting here. So this is... Okay. I can see you've got a certain swagger. I can see you've got a certain swagger. I can... Yeah, so the uh okay, so this setting doesn't isn't quite translating there. Um so when we're I can see you've got a certain swagger. Yeah, so that's way more clean with the decapitator compared to the fat effects. I can see you've got a certain swag. So let's I can see you've got a certain swagger. I can see you've got a certain swagger. Yeah, so we're just going to do it by ear. I can see you've got a certain swagger. 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 There we go. So that's that's a little bit closer. I can see you've got a certain That was the decapitator and now fat effects. I can see you've got a certain swagger. So it's just got a little bit of that grit in the background. I can see you've got a certain swagger. I can see you've got a certain Great. So we really toned that back a little bit uh, or to, to just a little bit of that fat effects coming through. Um, it's uh, way more than I expected to, to cut off there um, to, to get it to actually match that 30% wet knob on uh, decapitator. So just kind of interesting to see how that played out since I feel like we had the hundred percent wet really well uh, dialed in. Um, that might have to do with how it's doing the auto output level um for for how much makeup gain that it's using but we got it figured out so <laughs> after that a uh, little unexpected detour on the final wet dry knob adjustment for the decapitator lookalike from stock plugins let's take a look at our compressors I think it has something. And I'm hearing more low end come through on our third party plugin version. So I'm going to go back into that fat effects and just uh, pull down some of the, the low uh, band pass there. I think it has something to do with your shoes. I, th I think it has something to do with your shoes. I think it has something to do. So that was the third party. And again, here's the stock. I think it has something to do with your shoes. I think Okay. So that's that's feeling a little more in the range there. I think it has something to do with your 
I think it has something to yeah, so maybe we'll uh, cut out a little bit more of that. I think it has something to do with your shoes. I think it has something to do with There we go. So now we've got that uh, and, and when we the reason I went back and changed that was because the compression brought up a little more of what we just couldn't hear as easily because it wasn't as loud um, in the fat effects stage. So now that we've got this dialed in, um, let's just I'm hearing a little more grit in that third-party plug-in version. Um, just listen for it again, and we'll uh, probably add some distortion here. I think it has something to do versus the stock one right now. I think it has something to do. So let's try some soft distortion. I think it has something to do with your. Sh I think it has something to do with your shoes. I think it has something to do with your shoes. I think it has something to do with your shoes. I think it has something to do with with your shoes. There we shoe. go. That feels similar uh similarly tamed now. I think it has something I think it has something to There we go. So now we've got the compression set up. Again, DS is the same, channel EQ is the same. And we've got our gain automation. So pretty much matched those up very well. Let's let's do a final comparison there. I think it has something to do with you. And then the stock plugins. I think it has something to do with you. I'm getting more low end, so let's just uh, let some more low end in. I think it has something to do with your sh Maybe bring this up a little bit on the final EQ. I think it has something to do and then the third party plugins. I think it has something to Yeah, that feels a little better. Yeah, for some reason I was getting a little less low end coming through when I was hearing it. Um, so just uh, just needed to adjust that a little bit on the EQ at the end. Just splicing myself back in here now that we've gotten pretty close to the final result. Again, thanks for watching this video. We'll play a final kind of A-B test showing the decapitator versus the stock plugins here for the outro. Take a listen, see what you think. And let me know if you have any other ideas for videos next time in the comments below. And again, follow me here on YouTube for more content like this or just to stay up to date with my music. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Keep your head up in those clouds. You're pulling me right off the ground. Cause I can picture you in any color. Even ones on crayons with names they couldn't choose. If every outfit gives a clue who's under Wear them all till I know every shade of you So keep your eyes wide open now I'm on the floor without looking